people visit. Uh, it's so exciting when somebody descends the stairs and sees this panorama of vegetables and it extends uh, a thousand feet. It's uh, an exciting um, year-round uh, garden and there the plants that Jefferson was growing. We use his garden uh, journal to decide what to, what to put in the ground and um, some of his planting uh, schemes as well, which is really exciting. Well, I think uh, I sort of fell in love with Jefferson and what he did. You know, anytime I have a question, I can go to look and I find the answer. So I love that part. You know, there's different plants that they've never seen or tried to grow before. Maybe haven't seen certain herbs. They're in wonder and awe of this garden. And then uh, they start looking at how things are planted and maybe some of the techniques we have for sprouting things or, or maintaining them. And, and they all leave with some inspiration about how to do their own garden. <laughs> when, I, when I come up, it looks like a mosaic, like there is a little bit of everything. I love the, uh, uh, the fact that his garden was so diversified. I love the fact that he was growing uh, you know, 23 different you know, variety of peas to find the one which was the best and to determine that the rest should have been put on a side, but we should grow only the best. I love that part too. One question everyone asks is what happens to all this wonderful produce, and so a number of things happen. We uh, harvest for special events and cooking demonstrations. We produce a number of seeds that we package then and put in the gift shop for sale. A number of things are sent to the cafe for cooking into things like zucchini bread or salads, and the employees get to share um, the produce as well. It's a botanical garden of, of edible, you know, delights. It's something they can enjoy and take with them.